I have two different types of comment that is going to be first single line comment and multiple line comment. Int in the sense, uh, it returns some value. That's why I'm using a keyword called return zero. Void meaning is it's a return type. It says this function does not return any value. Hello everyone, I welcome all of you to the yet another interesting session in the c -ash. That is going to be in the .NET programming language. Yes, what exactly that I'm going to discuss today? You'll be wondering, right? So my dear students, I will be discussing a simple c -ash program. So you, you might be, you know, surprising. So do I have uh, the c -ash program in a difficult way or is it very difficult for me to understand? Is it very, you know, complex to understand? A lot of questions will be there. All right, so fine. Uh, to give a simple solution and to make it very simple, I have this session for all of you. So without wasting much of your time, let me show you what exactly I'm going to discuss in this session with all of you guys. Uh, I will be discussing a simple c -ash program. Along with that, I will also tell you what exactly namespace is all about. So after that, I will also show you how to add the comments in your program and what are the different types of comments that you have. And the last one, how do I return a value in the main program is what I will be showing all of you. So now let me get into the simple c -ash program. So guys, in this program, uh, I think I will be explaining the different parts of the program. I think I will be teaching the anatomy of c -ash program. Anatomy, so are you doing the biology? No, but it's going to describe the different parts of the c -ash program. Now let's understand one by one. The first line, what you guys are seeing here is a comment. Basically, I'm using the comment here to describe what exactly this program is all about. Sir, why are you using this comment? What is the use of this comment? This comment, whatever I'm using in the program, that comment will not be executed in the program. The lines which I treat it as a comment that will not get executed in the program is what you need to remember at this point of time. So fine. How many types of comment do I have? I have two different types of comment that is going to be first single line comment and multiple line comment. So what is the meaning of single line comment? So guys, hope you will be able to see this. Yes, I have two forward slash before this line, whatever the text that I have. So what is the meaning of it? So, so I'm making this entire line as a comment. So this line will not be executed in the program. That's a meaning. Okay, so fine. So you understood about the first thing that is single line comment. but I want to make more than one line as a comment. What do I do? So for that, I will be using the concept called multi-line comments. I'll be using the concept called multi-line comment. Multi-line in the sense more than one line. So that's what I will be calling it as a multi-line comment. How do I do it then? So I will be using forward slash star and then the same thing. So star forward slash. So this is the beginning and this is the end. So where exactly you want to start? to make it as a comment so there you will be giving and where you want to end it. So there you will be specifying this. This is what you will be treating it as a multi-line comment and single line comment. So fine, hope you understood. So this is the comment that I have, so fine. The next part which I'm going to explain to all of you is using system, okay? So fine, my dear students, why do I have this using system? Should I use capital U here? using so that you should tell me. So purposefully, I have given a task for all of you. But I will tell you one more thing here. Okay, I'm just giving you a hint. So guys, what is this using systems? At the end of this line, I have semicolon. Observe this carefully. Because understanding the basic concept is very, very important. Once you're done, once you have a good knowledge of the basics, then you can play like anything. So fine. All of you have studied a different programming languages, right? Like, you know, most of you have studied C, C++, Java. All of you would have come across with the hash include conio.h, hash include stdio.h. Most of you will tell me, right? So guys, what exactly is that? That's a directory where you will be storing predefined functions, correct? In the same way, in Java, we use import statements. In C hash, I use this using. Okay, so what is this systems then? What is this system? Whenever I'm writing system, my S should be caps. Okay, the system is what I will call it as a namespace. What is the meaning of namespace? I will be storing all the predefined classes in this 
namespace that's what you need to remember at this point of time so that's the meaning of this statement so what is the, why should i have the namespace because i will be using some of the classes inside my class which is already predefined and stored in the namespace only then i will be able to use that in my program that's the reason i will be defining that in the beginning of the program always it should be in the top that's the first thing that you need to remember so fine the second next line you need to remember i have a keyword called class what is the keyword that i have i have a keyword called class followed by i have a space and then i have a name of the class so this line is what i will call it as a class definition okay so you will be defining the name of the class in this line so this is an identifier so you need to follow the rules of identifier before you give the name for the class that's a must that you need to remember so what is the meaning of it sir remember the rules which we have studied in other programming languages so it should not be keyword you should never start with number a lot of rules we had studied right not lot 4 to 5 so that you need to recollect all right so that's a meaning of this line followed by you have to open with the flat bracket so after that a very important line that you have that starts with a keyword called public public is a keyword what is the meaning of keyword keyword in the sense a reserve word it has got its own meaning so public is a access specifier so i'm making this main function i'm making this main function as a public okay i'm making this main function as a public public in the sense what so it can be accessed throughout the program that's a main thing that you need to remember so fine so after that i have static what is the meaning of static can you please recollect what is the meaning of static i can call this function without creating the object that is the meaning so that is the meaning of static do you all remember something called you know before you call any function you need to create the object for that particular class and using that object you will call so that is the thing that you need to remember if i want to call somebody what is that i should have i should have a phone okay in the same way if i want to call any function i should have the object but now i am making this function as a static what is the meaning of it i don't require any object to call this function that's a important thing that you need to remember so fine the next one i have void void in the sense what so the void meaning is it's a return type it says this function does not return any value this function does not return any value that's what you need to remember and the next one is the name of the function that's a main okay so this main function what is the meaning of it the execution of the program starts from here that's a thing that you need to remember and also inside this parameter inside this parenthesis i can also pass the string array or the string objects so that's what you need to remember so fine after this i'm opening the parenthesis and i'm closing the parenthesis so here is the place where you can place your entire program or the logic that's what you need to remember where do i write my logic sir so in within this brackets you can write your logic so this is the place where you can write the logic so i have just used the print out statement okay print f statements all of you remember right so something like you know which you always do in the lab exam print f okay so whatever you wanted to print so you guys used to use it right so that this statement is equal into that statement so but i don't have just print f keyword but i have something like this system dot console dot right line what exactly system dot console dot right line so guys remember let me explain so right line is a method so whenever in programming language whenever you come across with this kind of parenthesis so you should treat whatever i have written here that as a method okay that as a method or a function okay so fine what is the function here right line is a function so where exactly i have this right line function inside this console class so where do i have this console class inside this namespace what is the meaning of namespace so namespace is a place where i have stored my predefined functions that's what you need to remember all right so that is what we have written here we use dot operator to access that all right so that's what i have mentioned within double quotes i'm trying to print hello so that's what i have mentioned it here and i've closed brackets and where is the flat bracket for this here is a flat bracket for this this is a simple basic structure of a c# hash program and i have something uh, in the next slide let me just show you that okay so guys 
here I have used void, okay, void as a return type and you should tell me, so should I use small m or capital M, okay, that's a question that for all of you and uh, guys here I have used void as a return type, here I'm using int as my return type, int in the sense uh, it returns some value, that's why I'm using a keyword called return zero, so that's our main thing that you need to observe here, so fine, in the same way passing the string object uh, what exactly that I'm trying to do here. So observe here, I'm storing this in the name. Okay, I'm creating the string object as name. The object name is name. All right, that's what you need to remember. And I can pass that inside the string line. And if I print this, what will be output? C sharp. Okay, so I should use double quotes. C sharp should be the output. That's what you need to remember and observe here. So with this, I have come to an end of this session to give you the basic knowledge about the simple C Ash program. And I will be coming in the next session with a lot of interesting stuff. Actual picture starts from the next session. Till then, happy learning. Thank you. Bye-bye.